Alrighty. Uh, welcome to our Beatles Park. My name is Mike Heaton. I'm the guy that uh, most of you see here. I designed this course that we got down at the Great Hub. Uh, we build it so that everything fits together in different ways. So once we're done with the park here, we can actually take all these bits and make them into a different uh, configuration. Uh, we had this uh, bike park from the uh, bicycle show that was held in March. We brought it back to Wallace Emerson Park and uh, from there it became a, more of a community adventure for everybody that was riding their BMX. It's always a complex between skateboard parks, BMX parks, and whether allowed uh, to ride their bikes in the park. So to have an actual BMX freestyle park in the city of Toronto was pretty important for the, the riders. There's probably about 40,000 BMX riders in the city, so to finally have a location where they can come and, and ride their bikes. Um, all the, the riders that came here were responsible for how we laid out the, uh, the course that we had at Wallace Emerson. Changed it up as we the summer, they, they got used to what was there, so they went out, figured out how to uh, reconfigure everything, changed it up. I was always surprised when I came to see the park with the, with the riders that had done the night that night before it changed up a bit. Um, they were also interested in the building, so it was great to have uh, some of the riders stop by helping out, holding the, uh, the planks to get them in proper alignment. Um, Mike, yes. so talk to me about the importance of what went down at Wallace Emerson. You were involved with Scott Mills, you were involved with graffiti artists, they were painting, and I mean, it looks gorgeous. Yeah. How did you get, how did you get to this point? Um, I'm not sure how I got to this point, where where the Crime Stoppers came into it, but uh, yeah, uh, Constable Scott Mills was, uh, was great in terms of identifying some artists who would be good. Um, we got it, an indication that the ramps would look kind of nice if they were all painted up with different kinds of graffiti on it, especially some of the graffiti you see in the city of Toronto is just so vibrant, so alive, so colorful. This would look really cool if we were able to get them on the, on the ramps themselves. So, Constable uh, Scott worked on getting some artists, uh, showing up with some ideas for the design, and putting them on the ramps that we've got that we see now. The riders love it. First, they, were, they wondered about some of the stuff that was going on, but after they'd seen it for a bit and were riding with it, they really loved it. They looked forward to, to having that. So, it was the, the combination of the two groups. It was the rider group. rider groups or the, the artists who were interested in putting their artwork on the grass. So it was good to have both of those things coming together at the park. And it looked beautiful. It was really nice work well. Okay, okay, one second. Yeah. You guys going by. Now Mike, tell me a little bit about yourself. You are a champion rider from what I hear. No, no. Uh, or you've done riding for a long time and how did you get involved? No, nothing interesting. <laughs> I, I, I know that you like it. But anyway, talk to me about the importance of working with you and the changes you saw them. Were there changes when they were working on this excitement? What, what was going on? All the time, yeah. I, I'm a high school teacher, I guess. I, this is the sideline. It's just a hobby working over here. So in teaching and working with uh, young people all the time. So this isn't really that much different to it. Same kind of of youth that I'd run into in high school that are coming here. The thing that, that's special about any kind of a sport like this is it really helps students identify goals in life. Everybody needs a little bit of goal to drive them through their teenage years, get them settled into uh, young adulthood. Um, in the past, in whitewater kayaking, I've done a lot of coaching with whitewater kayaking, and I was in Australia, picked up BMXing, and I just love it. So to be able to have that whole kind of avenue open up was pretty exciting. And uh, boys and girls who are coming to the park have found BMXing to be very important because they can work on it independently and yet they're there with a group of people. So it's kind of like a team sport, kind of like an individual sport, yet it's very, very challenging. So they've got these challenges that they bring to the, to the uh, event. Uh, my last question for you is how important is it for you to be engaged to let you stay away from the drugs, the violence, the gangs, all of that stuff? Well, most of the, the kids that are involved in BMX, they don't really think in terms of, of the drugs and the gangs and that kind of thing. And I, I guess it's the people that are 
folks that haven't found an activity like this go to another direction. Uh, you're looking for an activity that happens to be drugs and alcohol and, and violence around, you get taken into that. But if you've got an opportunity to do something like this, the thought doesn't even enter your mind because you've got no interest in, in any of those kind of activities. This becomes your passion for life, not anything else. Awesome. Is there anything else you want to add while we give something you want to sound by the promo something? No, that's you good. Yeah, that's oh, good. Thank right. you. They look so hard. <laughs> Michael Heaton on the bike park. <laughs> as we speak. We got the uh, Michael's event team here. One more guy, Tyler. Posing for uh, our friends at the uh, Malgamated Transit Union. <laughs> Mattered at this one, along with Neum, for the uh, Argos Foundation Stop the Violence at the football player, over the house. And it goes into uh, Neum's uh, name, but he made the A into uh, an Argos symbol. So Neum is like team, so it's uh, N E A M. Here we are at the 2007 Grey Cup BMX Bike Park. Mike Builder just uh, interviewed by uh, Kathy Alley for the show of Rogers TTA's Most Wanted. The teacher, he's doing positive activities. Thank you to all of these people who have helped out. There are many, many, many more. You may know who they are. Working together to build community in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. 2007.